I'm standing here at one of the oldest buildings at UC Berkeley, Senior Hall. Known as the heart of the university, this log cabin houses one of the oldest student-run organizations, the Order of the Golden Bear. On this episode of Investigative Reports, I'll give you an inside look on what the Order does and how it functions today. Among the many traditions here at UC Berkeley, there exists a student-run group that has both legacy and mystique. The Order of the Golden Bear. Founded in the spring of 1900 by Benjamin Ide Wheeler, this society is comprised of some of the most noted and dedicated alumni members. Dr. Nadison Pramal is one of these individuals. As the former alumni secretary of the Order, I was fortunate enough to sit down with him to learn more about this organization. The Order has the privilege of being one of the oldest of those student organizations, and it's part of a long tradition at Berkeley. The Order of the Golden Bear is a fellowship of students, faculty, and alumni who meet regularly at Senior Hall to discuss and exchange ideas related to the university. The discussions are done in a very traditional way. You are recognized by the student warden, who is the person running the fellowship. So who is the current student warden today? That would be fourth year student, Ruben Mojica. So as the warden, um, I'm basically in charge of all the background logistics that happens within the order. It's basically a forum where you know people get together and have frank discussions about issues. Mm -hmm. So what is so secret about the Order of the Golden Bear? I asked some Berkeley students what they have heard about the organization. Uh, I haven't heard much of it. I've only, I've heard the name floating around and I think it's, I've heard it's some sort of like a secret order. I guess I've heard that it's a secret society and that's about it. So it is not a secret society. I hear they like wear gold masks and like wander around at night. There's no special garb. I heard that they dress in cloaks like at two in the morning when we're glade. <laughs> that is not true. <laughs> I am not a morning person. Not really sure much about it. Some Harry Potter things going on. No, we don't meet. We don't have cloaks. We don't have uniforms. It's that's just a rumor because of the whole secret society thing, and uh -huh. I guess it just gives people something to talk about. Today, the subjects of the order are not confidential. Um, the membership isn't even confidential. While the organization is not a secret in itself, Dr. Pramal let us in on a real secret about the order's meeting place, Senior Hall. There is a special room. The, because it was a secret society when it was established, if you walk into Senior Hall, it looks just like a big room. But in fact, there is another room that rests behind it. And if you went outside the building, you realize that the building is longer than the front room. And that room rests behind the fireplace. And that's where the meetings take place. It's definitely an interesting experience. It's a unique experience. It's something that, you know, I can look back and uh, think of all the fun experiences that I had while being in it and all the amazing people that I've met. You always work towards a better than the university. Go Bears! With its long-standing commitment to students, we can only hope that the Order of the Golden Bear will remain a strong university tradition. Reporting for CalTV, I'm Brittany Tom.